joined here at uh, Siren Sister Town Football Club by Chippenham Town manager Mike Cook. Mike, a uh, 3-0 victory tonight in pre-season, away obviously against Siren Sister. Talk us through that one, mate. Yeah, very pleased and, um, you know, to have uh, still the eight uh, COVID cases that we've got at the moment and um, they're not available until tomorrow. So to, to pay the kids and a few trials, I thought we did really, really well. Yeah, speaking of trialists, um, two goals today from, as it's broke on Twitter, trialist 11, Harry Warwick. Um, first goal, great work by Dan Griffiths down the left-hand side, uh, put the ball on a plate. Second goal was a little bit special. He's done very well tonight, hasn't he? Yeah, he's um, he shows a lot of promise and he's got uh, he's got a lot of pace. Um, he's got a great attitude as well. When we spoke to um, Bristol Rovers and Lee Mansell about him, um, they're they're really disappointed that he didn't get another year contract. So for us, um, he's definitely been one of those lads who's really shined in in training. And he just needed a goal as well. He's been a bit unlucky in a couple of the uh, games that he's played. And, uh, you know, it's nice to see him getting on the end of uh, a couple of those chances tonight. Yeah, and again, obviously the third goal wrapped up this evening by Noah Coppin, um, straight out of the academy, straight into the lineup this evening. He's been given 15, 20 minutes of run around at the end and he's slotted very well. Um, it's got to be really encouraging for you to go again to see those guys coming out of the academy and performing well on the first team pitch. Yeah, it is. It is. And uh, because I'm, you know, from the youth development side as a coach as well over the last sort of 30 years, I am keen to try and get as many as those youth team players into the first team as we can. And, you know, we need we needed to play them over the last couple of games, but it's been good for them because you can have a little look at them and see whether they are going to be good enough. Um, little Ethan, who came on at left back, who put a cracking ball across for Harry to score the goal. I think he's just 16. And, um, you know, physically he's not there for us at the moment uh, to get into the first team, but you've got to keep an eye on him over the next year or so because he looks absolutely superb in training. And again, tonight with a you know, sprinkling of first team players that were in there, another strong performance from Luke Russ again. You know what you're getting from him time and time again. Kieran Parcell spent most of the time out on the left side of the left side of the four tonight. Um, again, <laughs> looked really, really good there as well. Looks like you've got a bit of versatility coming across that back four now. Yeah, it is, especially with the eight others to come back in as well. And they've obviously missed out on the 10 days of pre-season, so they've got to get back some, some fitness. So um, it would be interesting, the team that we play against Melksham on Tuesday and then Taunton next Friday. And then uh, obviously you're getting into the last week of the, you know, the warm-up games before that. So, um, yeah, it all looks good at the moment, but um, we're just hoping that uh, COVID stays away. I think we all are. So, yeah, obviously you lead us quite nicely on to our next point there, Mike. Obviously Tuesday we take the team to Melksham, uh, Taunton on Friday. Let's start with that Melksham game. Give us a little thought ahead of that one, mate. Are you looking forward to going there again? Yeah, lovely people. Um, Darren Perrin over there and um, Rich Fay. Um, you know, they do us some favours with training and they've been really, really good. Um, so there's a good relationship there. It's great facilities. So really looking forward to it. Of course, and from the Chippenham standpoint, our uh, former captain and title-winning ca title captain, as it is, Greg Tyndall, now over there as well. be nice to see some old faces. Yeah, yeah. Um, I've obviously been up against Greg a few times as well. So, uh, yeah, good player. They're, they'll be big and strong. It was probably our toughest pre-season game last year, actually, with uh, the way that they you know, fought and battled for things. So, yeah, we're, we're looking forward to it. And I suppose I'm right in saying that uh, from our last time we spoke on Tuesday against Newport, we knew that this evening was going to be one day a little bit too short for the lads that are currently out self-isolating or with positive COVID tests or wherever they are in terms of their own cycle. I'm assuming that it would be nice for you to have a full complement of players to choose from again on Tuesday. Yeah, it will do because it just messes training up. It messes everything that you're trying to you know, put across to the players with patterns of play and stuff like that. So... Um, from last Friday to this Friday has been tough to be honest so we didn't even train last night because of injuries and Covid and we just thought Do you know, better off give them a night off and then just turn up for the game today see how many's fighting fit tomorrow and then we go forward then for Tuesday Excellent, well obviously we'll wrap it up there for tonight then Mike, a 3-0 win away at Siren Sessor and, uh, and we wish you all the very best for Tuesday and we'll see you there Lovely, thanks Simon